guys and welcome back to underdog Peyton. so in this video i'm going to show you guys how i've gone about painting this uh little katachan sergeant so basically this miniature is from we print miniatures uh, i will leave a link in the description below please go check them out and if you order anything from there use that link and i get a little kickback really so it helps me out quite a lot so yeah, so I've sprayed the model with uh, just a normal black spray, use any spray really. And then what we're going to do is go around with Caliban Green. So it's got like this like armour part just for his torso. And then like a little groin guard thing at the front. But yeah, all you want to do is just base coat that with the Caliban Green. We're not bothered about being neat here, just wanting to get paid on that part. So once we've done that, we're now moving on to the skin. So Bugman's Glow, just on the arms. Now, Katachan basically have the arms out. They are basically just an army full of Arnold Schwarzeneggers and Rambos. So yeah, so paint the uh, the arms and the face with Bugman's Glow. Give it a nice coat there. Two thin coats uh, should do it, really. Once we've painted the skin, we're going to go around and paint all the um, straps and the little pouches that he's got all over with Rhinox hide. Yeah, so carefully just go around. These are quite small on the on the uh, the model, so try to get a brush with a nice tip on the end and just take your time. Obviously, if you do go over any other colours, just neaten back up with that colour. Next up is metallics, so we're just going to paint the gun with lead belcher and his absolutely massive knife with uh, lead belcher as well. I think there's a little uh, grenade that he's got on his belt as well, and we're just going to pick that out with the lead belcher. So next up he's got some knee pads on there so we're just going to base coat them with esh and grey just want to break that color up really because his trousers are black uh, so if you paint some esh and grey on these knee pads it just like i say breaks it up we also we're going to paint his gloves with the esh and grey as well So what we're going to do now is do some camouflage, just straightforward, basic camouflage. So on this armour, we're going to just paint some uh, patches of Lurian Forest. All you need to do is just do random little spots, uh, and that's it really. You can't go wrong with this step at all. So now we're just washing the full model with Agrax Earthshade, making sure to get in all them details uh, and define all them muscles with the, the shade. So once that wash is dry, what we're going to do now is just work on the skin. This is probably going to be the only part we're going to work on the most really uh, from now on. So we're just going to go back over with the Bugman's Glow and just pick out all the muscles leaving the, the, the shade in the, uh, the recess. So once we've done that first layer of the, uh, the Bugman's Glow, and then what we're going to do is go back over a little bit sparingly now because we want to add a highlight of Cadian Flesh Tone. And all we're doing is just tapping in, just at the um, where the recesses are, 
just a little bit of Kyrian flesh tone. It just gives that little bit of highlight to the muscles and definition and stuff. I mean, look at the back of his arm there. That is serious muscles. <laughs> Then we're just going to highlight the grey, so we just get a bit of Mechanicus standard grey. And we just go across the knee pads, and then we do a little bit on the uh, the gloves as well, just on the knuckles and, and fingers and stuff like that. So once that's done, what we're going to do now is just go back into the, the camouflage part. Um, because obviously we've done a bit of camouflage before we did the wash, and now we're just putting a little bit more depth into there. And I'm using Death Guard Green. So we're just doing a little few a little spots see there and everywhere. Just to give it a bit more camouflagey look. So now we're just going to work on the leather parts and what we're going to do is get some Mornfang Brown. And we're just going to put little jaggy marks all over the pouches and the straps just to give it a, a worn look. Obviously less is more but just take his arm and work your way around. So once you've done the brown, that is the model finished. Stick a base on the bottom of it. I've just done some Vallejo texture paint there. And that is the model done. Right, guys, I hope you like what you've seen. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more content from myself. And don't forget to check out We Print Miniatures. All right, guys, see you later.